Windows 10 is without a doubt one of the best modern operating systems. It has been with us for nearly a decade and is installed on millions of computers worldwide. But every journey comes to an end. Microsoft has officially announced the end of support for Windows 10 on October 14, 2025, which means no more regular updates. What does it mean? Are we still safe to use Windows 10? In this video we will discuss what alternatives we have and how to prepare for the future. Updates matters, and no updates means that there will be more unpatched vulnerabilities that accumulate over time. Those machines can become targets for malware. If you're not ready to upgrade, Microsoft offers the Extended Security Updates ESU program. For $30 per device per year, you can receive critical security updates until October 13th, 2026. This is a short-term solution, not a permanent fix. To qualify, your system must be running Windows 10 version 2020H2 with the KB5063709 update. Enrollment can be done via a wizard found in the Settings and Updates and Security section. There are three options to enroll. Use Windows Backup to sync your settings, 3. Redeem 1000 Microsoft Rewards Points, 3. Or pay $30 directly through the Microsoft Store. However, ESU has its limitations. It doesn't include technical support, featured updates or new features, and quality updates, including security and reliability fixes. There are also another ways to stay secured. One of the most obvious options is to upgrade to Windows 11, Microsoft's latest operating system. It comes with a fresh, modern interface, better security, and some features designed to improve productivity and gaming. And it also comes with bloatware, apps that aren't necessary for your machine. To check if your PC is eligible, head to Settings, Upgrade and Security, Windows Update, and click Check for Updates. If eligible, the upgrade is free and straightforward. However, Windows 11 has stricter hardware requirements than Windows 10. If your PC doesn't meet these, you might face issues or be unable to upgrade. It's such a waste of electronics that are working perfectly fine while Microsoft tells us to move to their newest OS because only for security vulnerabilities and new features. Let's not talk about privacy or telemetry. If your PC can't handle Windows 11, there's a community-driven solution, Tiny11. Developed by NTDev, Tiny11 is a stripped-down version of Windows 11 designed for older hardware. It removes bloatware and resource-heavy apps, making it suitable for systems that don't meet Windows 11's strict requirements. Tiny11 offers a streamlined alternative for those reluctant to switch to Linux options like Bazite, particularly due to GPU support issues. With the Xbox app and its new full-screen experience launching in 2026, Tiny11 proves timely, offering flexibility and ease of customization even after removing default features. There's another option many home users don't know about, Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC, including the IoT variants. LTSC stands for Long-Term Servicing Channel and it's designed for stability and long-term support rather than constant feature updates. Unlike standard Windows 10, LTSC versions don't come with the usual bloatware like Cortana, Microsoft Store apps or Xbox features. The system is stripped down, which means it's lightweight, faster and less cluttered perfect for older PCs or anyone who just wants a clean Windows experience. Goodbye bloatware. The most interesting part? Security updates. While regular Windows 10 ends support in 2025, Windows 10 LTSC 21H2 Enterprise receives updates until 2027. The IoT Enterprise LTSC variant extends this even further, getting security updates until 2032. That's nearly a decade more protection for your PC, which is huge if you're running older hardware that can upgrade to Windows 11. You can install LTSC on your home PC even though it's meant for enterprise hardware. Drivers for typical consumer devices work perfectly fine, and core Windows 11 functionality remains identical. You get a lightweight, secure system without the constant feature updates and the risk of apps breaking after an update. I've personally been using this version for over 3 years, and honestly, it's been smoother and more reliable than the regular Windows 10 home version. The downside? Because it's designed for enterprise use, you won't get access to the Microsoft Store, Xbox ecosystem, or many of the UWP apps. But there is a way to add them using installers. Still, for people who value performance, long-term security, and want to keep older PCs running safely, LTSC, especially the IoT Enterprise variant, is a smart choice. 
you will get updates far longer than standard Windows 10 without being forced to adopt Windows 11 or deal with bloatware. So which option is actually right for you? If your PC is fairly modern and meets Windows 11's requirements, the simplest path is to upgrade. You get the latest security, new features and full compatibility with apps and games, but yes, you will also get some extra bloat and telemetry along the way. If your hardware is older or just doesn't play nice with Windows 11, Tiny11 is a great community-driven alternative. It's lightweight, keeps your PC responsive, and gives you most of Windows 11's experience without the heavy resource load. Perfect for systems that are otherwise perfectly functional, but would struggle with the full Windows 11 upgrade. And then there's Windows 10 LTSC, especially the IoT Enterprise version. This is for anyone who values stability, no bloat, and long-term security updates. Older PCs can benefit from it. You won't get the Microsoft Store or Xbox apps out of the box, but it's possible to install them. You do get a clean, fast and secure system that can continue receiving updates for years even beyond 2030 in the case of IoT Enterprise. Would you like me to make a detailed tutorial showing how to upgrade older Windows 10 machines to LTSC or Tiny11? Drop a comment below and let me know. Like and subscribe for more content, your support will help me making more videos like this. Till next one.